Was that you, Primo? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. That was annoying for like two minutes. What was he doing? He was touching me. I thought it was like a fly or something. <laughs> Bro, yeah. this dude is cracking up in the back seat for like 20 minutes messing Bro. with you. And you were like, I think I got it. I think Bro, I got it. I thought it was like a mosquito or something. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, tu me tienes que regalar ese, ese video. Eso vale but, dinero, primo. <laughs> uh, and he's got the video footage. He was like, it's going to cost you. Giving Dixie a tea tree shampoo bath. Doc said that it would help her. I mean, tea tree oil, you don't want to give them actual tea tree oil because that can irritate them but this is a special oh goes trouble this is a specially formulated tea tree shampoo for horses and horses come with all kinds of skin conditions they're very sensitive to things like that man i'm just worried about that that looks just looks so bad i've been doing everything i can giving her antibiotics the ivermectin doesn't seem to be helping with whatever mites is causing this irritation. But I mean, I don't know. I've been going into damage control after losing Lamar and just... I'll tell you what, we even got infected with something after being in the barn with Lamar that whole day. Both Tiffany and I were just like having this crazy itch. Some sort of mites. I got some lice shampoo. That seemed to kind of do the trick. Uh, oh, just trying to watch out. She don't kick me. Well, she does not like water, but she seems to be liking this. This is a real soft bristle brush, but it's helping with the itchiness. I do got like some wound spray that I'm going to put on her as well. Oh, man. I mean, she seems to be in good spirits. She's not like Lamar, but I mean, I'm like, after seeing how we lost Lamar and Macy, after having this mange, I'm just like really worried. I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose another llama. And you know what? It's none of my other animals has this. It's just the llamas that got it. And I don't know. I did spray permethrin on her. That kind of takes care of biting lice. The ivermectin works on like lice on the inside, but not biting lice on the skin. That's the only thing that would help is a permethrin for something like that. So, or permethrin. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but. I'm learning. So I'm going to finish up tea tree bath. I wanted to do it during the day while it was kind of warm. It does get a little chilly here in Florida, so she'll be dry by the nighttime. It is a little early, and it's about you know, about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, eh, maybe 80 degrees. Did you run out of food, baby? Um, I should put some more food in there for her. Come here. Got some more food for her. Does that feel good? I'm sure it feels so good. It's a pretty girl. She was scratching her head on the palm tree back there. I'm gonna get you some more treats, okay? Yeah, she seems to be liking this brush. Yeah, she's really itchy. I'm wondering if that has something to do with why they're getting sick because they're stressed out. Yeah, this has tea tree shampoo, which should be good for any sort of parasites too. Bugs don't like tea tree. I feel good, baby. Gracie likes to take little mommy breaks here and there. She trusts me with her puppies too. Look at these guys. It's crazy because the same day that Lamar died, well, I mean, you know, it was late at night, but on the same day, these little guys were born. Why are you in the dirt? I had this like, oh gosh, I had this all clean for you. You guys are in the dirt. I don't like it. Daddy doesn't like it. But these are outdoor dogs. <laughs> so there is this thing that I looked up. It's called pack syndrome. Where like when dogs are born with their parents, like kind of like in a setting like we have here at the Safe Haven Ranch, they become pack dogs and will not listen to their human companions. Let me know here in the comments if that is something that I probably need to be concerned with. I mean, I would imagine so. So I might have to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with these guys, even though they're with their parents all the time. <laughs> so this is Patrick, this is Travis, and that's Taylor right there. It's my only 
little girl puppy. Oh, it's a pup boy. Oh, it's so cute. And they got the cutest little puppy breath, too. We got to get the more blinkies out here, but, you know, they'll get dirty again, of course. Don't worry, mama. Oh, look, she's, she's having her break. And there goes Dixie. You know, I'm going to let her graze the field today. Just her by herself. She's looking a lot better. She's a little happier after I give her that bath. Well, that worked according to plan. Yeah. All the animals got out, including Dak. I had to get him back in. He's honestly the only one I worry about because he'll take off. These guys will stay right here. I mean, they might eat some of my garden. Hi, Miss Mary Poppins. I just want Dixie to be happy. That's the main reason. Come running in a second. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Here he comes. That's your boy, baby. He really likes Tiffany. Yeah. He starts like running towards her. Hi, buddy. That's your pretty boy. Hey, don't give it to him yet. Don't give it to him yet. Yeah. Hi, buddy. What are you me. doing? Yo. What are you doing? Hi. Is that a full donkey? It might be a. Might be like a zebra, like a um, like a zonkey. Yeah, yeah, dude, because he's got striped legs. Yeah. Hi, baby. Remember we fed those donkeys and yeah. he was in Nevada. It's like a bunch the of them. Does. <laughs> yeah. <we're laughs> Here, my boy Aiden, visiting all the way from Colorado. <laughs> the humidity's got my hair in a fro. Oh man, this ain't nothing. It's a really good boy. Yeah, don't push me into the <laughs> don't push me into the vibe. <laughs> he's a good boy. Yeah, I think he's a zonkey. Could be. He's adorable. Yeah, he is, dude. I wonder if he's a mini donkey. He does look small, but I'm thinking the stripes. Maybe the zebra has something to do with the small. Yeah, like he's a, a zonkey. Yeah, dude, because like donkeys don't have those stripes. Really? Yeah, no. <laughs> Donkeys don't have stripes on their legs. He loves the horse treats. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's not give him too much of this. Yeah, the back legs have stripes too. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> a good boy. Um, I think a miracle is happening right now. Oh my God! Oh my God! She's having a baby! Oh my God! No way! She has to do it naturally. Hi, Dixie. Oh my God! We I'm so glad we didn't give her that steroid shot. I know. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is awesome! Hi, baby. Are you okay? Come here. Don't be scared. It says that they're pregnant for 11 months, though. Come on, baby. It's okay. Just relax. 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 It's white like Lamar. So my cousin had a good idea. He's like, hey, let's put some food over there for her so she stays in one place and she can just relax. So we're gonna do just that. I'm just kind of following behind her, letting her walk. I think the walking's actually really good for her birth. Oh, wow. This is, wow. All right, the more she walks, it's actually pushing out the llama. All I keep thinking about is that baby in there, like not being able to breathe. But you have to remember with llamas, they hold the baby in for about 11 months. So, I mean, it's been breathing for 11 months inside there. It's got to be breathing right now. I mean, hopefully. Oh, my God. This is so cool. It's moving. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world, baby. Oh, it is breathing. Oh, my God, Dixie. Dixie, look at your baby. She don't even care about her baby. Take the 
Come here. Look. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look, your baby. Look at your baby. Yes. Come here. Look at your baby. Oh my god. It's got it looks like Lamar and Dixie all together. Oh my god. Is there, just is there anything that needs to be done? Dixie? It's your look. baby. Look right here. Dixie, look. Look. Right here. Oh my gosh. Does she not even care? Look, it's your baby. It's the food that she's distracting her. Come on, look. Is it breathing okay? I don't know. Come on. Come here, Dixie. Look. Look, it's your Dixie. Baby. Here. She wouldn't even care about her baby. Is it breathing? It's, I mean, I think so. Are you breathing? Is it breathing? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Come on. I hear breathing. Let's see. I hear breathing. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Well, I mean, mom's not very available right now. Dixie, you have a whole child. I don't think she cares. Girl, look at your baby. It's okay. We bottle fed a baby llama before. Oh my goodness. Hi, sweet baby. I grabbed water. Good job, buddy. It's really cold out. Just rub her down. Like, rub them down. There we go. Let's get this sack off. Aww. That's the sack. Yeah. Isn't the mom supposed to be doing all this? Dixie. I thought you'd be a better mommy, girly. Get over here. Stop worrying about your food. Oh, listen to the noise. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, God. oh my goodness. Has this he... farm has been an emotional roller coaster the past it few has. days. It's like Lamar passed away and like left a baby behind. I know. Like literally just a couple of days ago. Like we should name it Lamacy. It's a it's, it's a, a boy. boy. A little boy, see. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Hang on, hang on. I wait, hey, that's bro. the umbilical. Hey, it's a girl, <gasps> it's a girl. The name of Lacey. No, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Lacey. Lacey, yeah. hi, Lacey. Okay, I thought it was the boy. We got a little baby girl. It's another Macy. It's a word name for Lacey. I think Lacey's a good name between Macy and Lamar. You mm -hmm. know, we could go La Marcy. <laughs> but now, nah. I, I think Lacey's cute. Well, well, she's breathing. Yeah. Look, she's trying to stand up. Yeah, that says within 30 minutes they'll stand up and try to nurse on the mom. Come here, let's cover you up. Come here. I don't know why mommy is not into you right now. Because she's got food. So pretty. You're so pretty. Oh my god. You're so pretty, girl. Come here, this tastes better. Look. Ew. I mean, where do they nurse from on a llama? There's like, I don't see no boobies. I'm worried about with her mange, if it's even a good idea to nurse. No, it's still, it, it's healing though. Like she looks, she looks like she's yeah, we'll do it. Boston, pass me my phone, buddy. I'm gonna call the vet. This is wild. Like, were you expecting this today? I was not expecting this today. I didn't even know she was, was pregnant. In, so, me and Ariana were doing the math. Uh huh. We got them in January. Yeah. It's Eleven yeah, right. months exactly. It's eleven months. So she must have got pregnant right when we right got when her. we got her. Wow. Aw. Why right, your baby? Why right, your little baby? You're gonna walk today. Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look at those eyes. Those are Lamar's eyes. And then she's she's so pretty. She's got such beautiful colors. Look at this brown color on her. Hi. Hi, handsome. It's Dixie. No, sweet girl. Sweet girl. I forgot. It's a girl. Hi, Lacey. That part's Dixie and that part's Lamar. Is she blood in her mouth? Let me see. Uh, it looks like blood. Let me, let me check her eyes. She's nice and pink. Oh, it's your baby. Oh, it's your pretty girl. Come here. 
Come here. Oh, she lifts. She's trying to lift her head. Come on. Come here. Let's get back on the blanket. Don't let her hit it. Come on. Here, let her try to stand up because this is what they do. Okay. Let them do what they need to do naturally. Okay. Take Move the water, buddy. I just want to dry her off. Because you got to think, what if we were gone and this happened? Oh my God, I'm so glad we're here. Oh, it's so cute. Look, Dixie. Look, Dixie. It's your baby. Look, she's like, I'm out of food. Where's my food? <laughs> Look, come see your baby. Come be a good mama. Look. Oh, there she just go. noticed There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. With your baby. That's your baby. <gasps> Did you hear the noise she, Dixie just made? Look at that, Dixie. It's your baby. It's her baby. Back up, letter. You okay? Yeah. yeah. It's a boy. I mean, it's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, there's no oh, stuff she's... on her feet. It's okay. Dixie okay? Yeah. They need her buckle. Here, let's Aww. back up a little bit. Let's let her... Okay, let her have some space. Yeah, let her, let okay. her Come on, that's your baby. You hear the baby? There's your baby right there. That's your baby. She's crying. What if she has another one in there? No, it's only one. Only one? Yeah, they only give singles. Okay. Mom. She wanted us away from her. I saw her eye like this. Do we need to get anything for Dixie? Oh, she's not. She's going to poop. Oh, she has to. Oh. <laughs> the afterbirth? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, she has to push that out. It says a single. Ooh. Yeah, she's got to push that out. Okay. It's the afterbirth. It's bubble gum. This is crazy. Here, back up, baby. There you go. Oh, is that your baby? I think you said thank you. Is that your baby? No. Don't leave your baby though. Uh-oh. I think she's just needing to get that out. So we had the vet out here maybe like three weeks ago when we were noticing that mange on the llama is just not looking good. And he gave a steroid shot to Lamar, antibiotics, of course, ivermectin. We gave ivermectin to Dixie, but I did tell them that I suspected, that, you know, her, that she was pregnant. We did an ultrasound twice, and he couldn't find a baby. You should send a text to the vet and be I like, did. your ultrasound sucked. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I said, it's been an eventful couple of days. I was like, here's our puppies, and now here's our new llama. That's funny. But with knowing that there's a possibility that she could be pregnant, we opted out to the steroid shot to give to Dixie because that could have aborted the baby. That's right. She was that far along. I'm so glad I didn't give her that steroid shot. We would not be staring at this beautiful creature right here in front of us. I'm gonna go get some milk stuff for her. So Dixie's just kind of relaxing. She's trying to get that afterbirth out. She's not really interested in the baby right now but maybe maybe that'll go away once she's done getting the afterbirth out don't worry we got your baby she's safe hi lacy welcome to the world i'm so sorry that your daddy's not here to witness this Aww. she's got lamar's eyes a grass in it oh, it's on her yeah right there there's like a stick in like, her eye lamar had those white eyelashes like that remember mm -hmm. Yeah. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Hi, sweet baby. I love her colors. She's got Lamar and Dixie colors together. <gasps> Look at her. She's lifting her head, babe. Look. Oh, Good wow. Job. She's lifting her head. Oh, wow. She's trying. Yeah. They said it could take up to 30 minutes. It's a good job. Got a baby llama. It's like right after Lamar died, it's like he left these blessings oh. behind. Same day, we brought in Gracie's puppies, and then a couple days later. Come on. Aww. I don't want anything hap like happening to her. Come on, baby. She walked over here, like smelled her, looked at her, and then like walked away. She's not even like interested in her. She's still over there. No, even like she, all she cared about was eating. Like we put food on the baby and everything, and she just didn't care. We even walked away to see if she would kind of imprint on the baby and she just she's not interested should we just leave her here and see if she'll come back to her i think we should listen i don't know we should hear from the vet first though because it might not be good for her to be around her anyways why because of that mange 
It, oh yeah, because that's the other thing is the mange on her. We don't want her to get that mange. Yeah, it could be contagious. I mean, a little baby like that getting that mange, like yeah, she won't survive. We bottle fed Macy. Uh, You're so cute. Ain't a pretty baby. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hi, Lacey. <laughs> I can't believe this happened. Oh my god. This is crazy. Um, aww. It's a pretty girl. So one thing we were not prepared for was uh, getting some baby stuff here. Should we get one of these for the llama? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Llamas don't have pinkies, but we do need a thermometer because we need to make sure. We actually brought her into the house. She has a weird breathing thing that the vet told us that it could be. Uh, we don't want to jump the gun, but supposedly it is common amongst llamas and we would have to put her down. She hasn't stood up yet. It's been an hour, hour and a half. Please pray for my baby llama. Cause uh, that would be, yeah, that would be just devastating. Uh, yeah. But anyways, all right, fam. So this is what the vet told us to do right here. We're warming Lacey up with a blow dryer. I tried taking her temperature just a few minutes ago and it won't read. I don't know why. I did get some colostrum and this is uh, what we need to feed her for at least like maybe two days or so. I would rather her get this from Dixie, but right now we're just trying to keep her alive and she's not looking so well. You said she's gotten a little bit better since putting the heat on there, right? Yeah. Okay. Little baby llamas and alpacas can't regulate their body temperature and it is cold outside. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking, well, I mean, this is what the vet said to do, right? Mm -hmm. They keep getting colder as soon as you take the heat off. Yeah. You put some socks in the dryer. Well, I've got that socks. snuggie going in there. So once that snuggie's in, we're going to put her in it. Put her feet or we're put her whole body in Because her feet is, that's kind of where animals like regulate their temperature. Yeah. So her feet need to be warm. But they're wet, that's yeah, why. Yeah, they're wet on the inside. You don't have that too hot, right? No, I have it on um, the okay. like, lowest. You're good. Here you go. I'll try to drink some of this. Nice girl. I wonder if she's really standing up already. Yeah, definitely. Come on, baby. We need to try to get her back out with Pixie. There we go. Want some? Want to drink it? Good job. Yeah. Good job. Okay, we got her temperature up to 91.8. It needs to be up at least by what, 100? Yeah. So we're a little off. She's having a hard time being warm. And it's crazy because, I mean, what's our house at right now inside? Like maybe 73, 74 degrees? We got her all bundled up, of course. She won't yeah, drink any of this colostrum. If we can't get her temperature up, we need to just go ahead and take her in. I know it's a far drive, but- I called him, he said that they're closed. They're closed? What are we gonna do? And our vet is out of town with his family. He's texting with me though. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So I guess we're in communication with him, which yeah. is a good thing. He's going this way. She's in an incubator right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think Dixie would have done to try to keep her warm? Well, the able... problem is, is that Dixie was away from her for so long because she was trying to get her junk back in. Yeah. And it's so cold out there, even Dixie's wet. <laughs> Look, she's holding her head up right now. That's so good. <laughs> she is. All right, we got her body temperature up to 95 degrees, which is really good. We need to, we need to be at, what, 100? Oh. I mean, earlier it was at 70, I mean, it was low. I mean, even like when I put my finger in her mouth, it's still very low. Hey, go, baby. Like when you heard it be a little warmer. You need some more? But she is drinking a little bit of the colostrum right now. Let's see. Okay, so we have her temperature up to 98 degrees so far. She is getting a lot better. And she has been drinking some of the colostrum a little bit more. Uh, we're just trying to get her to stand up because She's about four hours late. Watch your papa, watch your She just needed to hear that. Watch your papa, watch your Come on. There we go. 
<gasps> there you go. Wow. Yeah, She's she tired. needs to do it on She's her own. On grass. So she can learn to work her legs. Come on. You think it'd be too cold to bring her outside? I really want to get her outside. With I the, think it the would mom. be better if she was outside. Maybe near. Dixie. Why don't we bring the thermometer with us? And okay. Come on. Try to get. Dixie Come on. Here. I might give her energy too. To yeah. want to get up and see her mom. Mom, yeah. Come on. <laughs> She's like no. <laughs> she likes the carpet. Come on. Her tail's lifting up. Good job. Oh. She's about to take a sh. <laughs> I don't know a new carpet. I'll grab her. Let's take her off. Right. Okay, now that we have her temperature pretty high now, we're going to try to bring her back to mama. So I know mom would have a hard time doing that. Dixie, oh, we got your baby. To, she's trying to get down. Come here, Dixie. Look. Oh, she's trying to kick out of here. Grab Maybe she smells mama. Did you bring the thermometer? Um, Ariana's grabbing it. Okay. Yeah, we need to get iodine on her. All right, we'll do that. It's way back there. It's your baby. Look. Look. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Is that Dixie? <laughs> They're cooing at each other. Yeah. Oh, she's like cuddling her. Come on. Oh my god. Please don't step on her, Dixie. <laughs> Where are you going, Dixie? Your baby's over here. Come on, do something with your baby. What are you doing, Dixie? It's like abandoning her baby. She's just gonna lay right there. Oh, she seems sore. Yeah. What is she doing? She's scratching herself, right? I don't think she's interested. Yeah, we might have to take her back inside. Maybe try and get her to stand on the grass though before. Yeah. See if she can. Like, what if we weren't here right now and she had That's that baby? That's what I was saying. Like, some animals just don't have that motherly, motherly instinct. instinct. But she's like making these noises. Yeah. All right, so I went and got the chicken lamps. And that kind of helps us, kind of helped us to not have to use the blow dryer so much. But the blow dryer did keep her warm. We got her body temperature almost up to 100. So we just got off the phone with a vet, like a 24-hour vet that is available that our, the, our vet recommended for us to see in Gainesville. And they told us it's going to be $2,000 just to get her in there to see her. I told them on the phone, you guys are thieves. And you know what, like, I stand by my word. Let me know here in the comments. Your dog gets sick and you call a place up that's an emergency, like you're at their mercy. And you ask them, how much is this vet visit gonna cost me? And they tell you $2,000, how would you feel? Uh, that's, that's just really taking advantage of people that are really down on their luck. Are you a big sister? Are you a big sister, Daisy? Yes, you are. Luna's a big sister, too. Yes. <laughs> you guys like your baby llama, sister? Yeah. Watch. Look. Oh, she holding up her head a little bit? Yeah. Come on. Okay, so she is drinking the colostrum a little bit better. She needs to drink, gosh, like four more. 
Come on. No. You guys be nice to the baby. Come on. That's a baby. That's a baby, you know. Look at her. I just don't like that she's not staying in. She's just big right now. She's trying, though. Is this lamp keeping her warm? Yeah. Okay. There we go, baby. Come on. It's not too warm, is it? No. Okay. I keep going like this just to make sure. And the temperature was what, 97? Mm -hmm. 97.9. Okay. It's better so than it's going back the up. 89 that she was a little bit. Oh, that was earlier. Yeah. I can't believe like Dixie abandoned her. Like, she does wants nothing to do with her. I wonder if Dixie knows that she's sick or something. That's why she won't. Mother. I hope not. Look at this. Somebody's got their head all propped up. <laughs> she looks so cute. Look who we have here, Miss Daisy, and she got a haircut. So, in case you've never seen any of my previous videos with Daisy, she has a disease that is um pretty common i mean not super common but it's called megasophagus where her esophagus is quite large a lot larger than most dogs and if she eats food just kind of stays in her esophagus doesn't make it down to her belly so i had to make her this chair where she sits in a 90 degree angle and that's how she drinks water that's she how she eats this is a condition that she will always have it may correct itself as kind of like a 50-50 thing, but chances are it may be something that she has to live with for the rest of her life. But that's okay because it's easy. Just feed her. And Luna got a haircut. Yeah, Luna got a haircut. Oh my gosh, you guys look so cute. Let's say thank you, Deb. Thank you, Miss Deb. That's right. She was your first time to see Miss Deb. I, I hope Miss Deb liked you. I hope you were good for Miss Deb. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Who is hungry? I know who's hungry. Yeah. Look at Luna. She's so excited. Oh. You want this? You want this? Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Speak. Speak. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I usually don't make her do tricks for her food. That's just, you know. So, yeah, we have to sweep the house at least twice a day there you go there you go miss daisy's so cute she's so cute damn luna she already tore that up all right if you have a dog that eats really really fast like luna and maybe she's having some hard you know hard time digesting her food get them something like this this is a slow feeder and it's it's actually kind of like a game and they they just lick it and it's it's really cool Sometimes I'll give this to Daisy because she eats kind of fast too. All right, now's the fun part. Daisy gets to sit like this for half an hour and she knows it. So she just kind of hangs out there and relaxes. She's used to it by now. So this is how she digests her food. Good girl, Daisy. Daisy the girl. I'm going to put some water here for you too. So yes, I have to do this also when just giving her water. Because if I just let her drink water, she'll spit it all up. You want some water? Yes. Here we go. Okay. Drinky, drinky. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Hey, look, some water. Drink some water. She did drink some water a little earlier, so. <laughs> look who's always hungry. These guys, they're always so hungry. Yes, you are. He's a hungry goat. Hi, guys. Doing okay. Hi, Miss Mary Poppins. She's looking really good, by the way. Where's she at? Mary Poppins! In the wintertime, our paddocks really take a beating. It starts getting kind of dry. So sometimes I will let them graze this pasture here. Or, of course, I get them a bunch of hay like they have right now. This is my last bale. I need to go today and get a bunch more hay. Did not mean for that to rhyme, but beautiful day today. Rhymed again, didn't I? Here's my horse, Hamley. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Hamlet wants a treat, doesn't he? Okay, it's going to be a little tricky. Ah, okay. Here you go, bud. There you go. I'll just drop it down there. How about that? Yeah. So the other day, my cousin leaned over this and got shocked on his neck. And then he says in Spanish, that'll kill a horse. 
<laughs> he screamed like a little girl. But he's like, ah! Dixie's looking really good. I've been spraying something for like lice and mites on her that ivermectin is resistant to. It's called permethrin. So I've been spraying a nice heavy dose on her just in case. I still don't have any results on what's going on with Lamar. Hopefully we get that soon, but been keeping a close eye on her. I feel so bad for her. She lets me actually scratch her head because she's like itchy. I wonder if Lamar like died from stress, you know? <laughs> Dude, the three roosters crowed at the same time. <laughs> I mean, her skin is looking a little better. Oh, I sprayed the heck out of the barn in there. I'm going to put some of this stuff down now. Okay, so the one night that Tiffany and I, well, it was pretty much the entire day and night, when we were in here with Lamar, we started getting this wicked itch, and we don't know what it is. So there must be some sort of mite or something in here. I did spray it with the same thing that I told you I sprayed on Dixie. It's called permethrin. Sprayed this entire place. We got rid of all the hay, of course. I'm also going to go in pretty heavy on DM. I don't know how to call it. It's like something earth. I can never say the name. I've been using this stuff for years in my chicken coops. It's a like an all natural pest control. Anything with an exoskeleton, it dries it up. Ants, cockroaches, any mites, lice. I mean, it kills every insect. Uh, Deotomation. I, I can't ever say this. Deomocetaceous earth. That's it right there. Anyways, I'm probably going to use this entire bag. I brought this. The goats, of course, think that it's a treat. It's not a treat. I'm sorry. I'll get you a treat later, okay? Hi, baby. I don't have any treats for you. Hi. Hi. Okay, daddy's working. Daddy's working. Hi, daddy boy. No treats today, or treats right now. Stuff is very dusty. So, I mean, would recommend wearing a mask. gonna spread it around all over the place might take some little breaks here and there just to let the dust settle and not breathe it in <laughs> oh that's how we do oh Mary Poppins I just got that in your eye uh, I'm wondering if the itchiness that we got was from the same mites that was bothering the llamas I don't know I just want to take care of any problems. I think whatever they have is pest related. We're kind of cracking up here because, you know, we're putting all the DM stuff like all over the place and we have the wagon and Mona dips her whole head in it and starts eating it. I guess she likes the way it tastes. It is food grade. It's completely safe for them to eat. Mona, what are you doing? <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, you too. Stop it. I mean, I guess you could eat it. It's good for you. I mean, just, oh my gosh. These guys, they just eat everything. Yes, you do. I did give Dixie a bath in it because it's good for them. And if she has like those mites on her, so I don't know. I hope same thing doesn't happen to her because she has the same problem Lamar did, but she seems to be in good spirits. I gave her a hydrocortisone bath last night and just rubbed her down. I got to do it again, maybe a little bit later. Okay, good news. I just got an email with a preliminary report on Lamar. Says the body of a three year old male llama is submitted for standard necropsy on November 17th. The llama is in poor body condition score with diffusely markedly deceased subcutchen, I can't say that, and visceral adipose tissue. Adolysis is mild. There is multifocal to confluent marked thickening of the skin with multifocal crusting and hair loss. Uh, we know that. I mean, don't need a report on that. Um, 
there's a small amount of thin watery red fluid within the thorax I'm sorry, I don't know these words here. Randomly scattered throughout all lung lobes are multiple three to seven millimeter diameter firm white, well delineated foci. The remainder of the lung lobes are diffusely dark red to purple and slightly rubbery. The cortex of the left kidney is multifocally expander by thick viscous yellow material. All other tissues and or organs examined are grossly within normal limits okay this doesn't tell me anything at all great but there are some pending tests they're going to do a parasite fecal examination bacteriology mycology fungal culture bacteriologically aerobic culture histopathology and necropsy microscopic who makes all these names yeah i'm uh I'm a little disappointed and it just really doesn't tell me much. I'm going to probably call my vet and see what he thinks based off of this preliminary result. We know that he had something on his skin. I mean, it's just like all the llamas got it and there was nothing we could do about it. We put stuff on them. We gave them antibiotics. We gave them ivermectin i mean we, we gave them everything so i mean obviously everything that we were doing was not working and this was all under the care of a vet like i had my vet come out here i didn't record it the one time but he did treat dixie and lamar the only difference was we did not give dixie a steroid shot because of the possibility that she could be pregnant that could abort her baby so we opted out of that but we did give her a dose of an injectable ivermectin that would have gotten rid of i don't know whatever is on her but whatever's on her if it's a lice then ivermectin does not work on outer lice like hair lice i don't know i mean that's i'm hoping it's not that but the stuff that i started putting on her does red fluid within the thoracic what the hell is a thoracic i'm gonna google that all right so it's like center upper middle back firmly adhered to the dura mater I I need to call the vet. They're also doing a kidney, left, nephritis, multifocal, marked, chronic. I don't know. Did he have something wrong with his kidneys? Okay, so I just left a message to my vet. And one thing I did miss on here, it did say something about, it said the cortex of the left kidney is multi, you know, it says that it's expanded by thick, viscous yellow material. So the kidneys were affected by whatever he had and everything else all other tissues and organs were fine it does say something about the lungs so whatever he had it attacked his kidneys and his lungs and maybe he was just sick i don't, I don't know like I don't, I don't freaking know i want answers man i want to make sure that i get rid of whatever is in here because i'm just i'm terrified like i don't want to lose any more animals like losing Macy and Lamar like that just back to back I mean I only got I only got Dixie and I'm already kind of planning to lose her I hope not but I don't know. I'm trying to take every precaution possible all right so glad I got this trailer because look how much hay it accommodates got a lot of hay for some hungry hungry animals this is like our regular coastal hay did get them some peanut hay this is mainly for dixie the llama because uh like leafy type hay like that is really good for them a little bit more expensive that's like 20 dollars a bale but yeah i mona's gonna go crazy with that but i do want to maybe put that aside for the llama but yeah i think uh i think they're gonna eat pretty good and this is because our grass is starting to die, so we're going to stock up a little bit. That's why I'm using this for right now, just to kind of keep the hay nice and dry. Yo, this thing is awesome. Let me show you how it works. Stay there. Stay there. So think of it as like a giant rake. And that's what I'm doing, just kind of evening out the ground, 
kind of raking everything it works wonders for a manure too it just spreads everything out doesn't give a chance for a manure to start building up parasites if you will evens out the ground it might take a couple of days for it to start growing and it i mean of course it helps with getting moisture back into the ground too so yeah just did that i got to do the other paddocks over there but these are the bigger ones worked out great hey dr keen hey uh, i got your message um I, I think what we probably need to do is wait a little bit longer okay but as far as right now um it, it looks like he had quite a bit of stuff kind of going on maybe before y'all got him um on the kidneys the lungs and the brain because all those came up as chronic um so you think it's something that he there. came with like from the maybe the petting zoo i got him from i don't think y'all haven't had him very long right I had them for since January, earlier in the year. Yeah, so 10 months. Yeah. But we'll see what else. He's still got quite a bit to do on the uh, bacteriology and histopath and then the uh, parasite exam too. So. Okay. Um, yeah, because I'm really worried about the other llama because she has the same kind of skin condition. and I mean, I've been on her. I've been trying to like, uh, I've been uh, spraying uh, permethrin. Uh, right. on on her which is uh that's the only thing i one thing i didn't know is the ivermectin doesn't kill lice if like she had lice um but that uh, it does for the blood sucking ones that will kill them okay but there's like certain ones yeah. they don't like it is yeah no and that's why we get the permethrin too okay yeah so i've been it, giving her that do both ivermectin orally or, or as an injection then also the on top okay yeah so been doing that i actually wanted to ask you like should i maybe try to bathe her in like a, a tea tree shampoo or something uh i wouldn't i don't know how they would react to a tea tree i know dogs can actually uh pretty negative side effects from tea tree oil oh uh, really like all right yeah because i bought this it was like a tea tree shampoo for horses because i know horses are kind of um sensitive to certain things so. yeah i'm sure the one that you bought for the horse is perfectly safe it's probably a very diluted out form Okay, yeah, because yeah, it's for horses. It's not a tea tree oil. It's like a tea tree shampoo. So you think that okay. might be okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that'd be fine. All right, and I've been putting the hydrocortisone on her too. I was like, I'm so like scared that I'm gonna lose her, man, because I, I don't know, it's just it's like two llamas already that I lost. No, oh, I know, and that, that is kind of uh, worse. I mean, I understand that, but I, I don't think I really don't think they're related. Okay. Damn. All right. Well, I guess we'll see what the other tests come with, come up with. But yeah, it's. I didn't really understand the test that they did. The preliminary is it? It it said, it said something about pneumonia or something too, or was that yeah. just them checking the lungs? Yeah, the the lungs and the kidneys and the brain were all chronic. So that's why I think something happened maybe when he was younger. So you don't think it was some sort of um, parasite or something that did that? No, I don't think so. Uh, and, and they're going to do a parasite exam on him, so we'll see if he had a really high parasite load or not. Kind of go from there. But either way, I, I mean, his color was good. Well, All hey, right? thanks so much for your help, man. All right, yeah, not a problem. And, and um, I'm getting updates as you do, so uh, just as soon as we find out some more information, we can talk more about it. Okay. All right, thanks so much, Chris, right. Christian. Appreciate it. Well, there you have it. He's thinking that it was something that he's had. I don't know. I feel like it's something I'm responsible for now. I got Lamar from a petting zoo, and he seemed very healthy. I mean, him, Dixie, they were both very healthy, and they caught some kind of mange here. But the crazy thing is, is none of the other animals did. And Macy also caught that same mange. And I, I seem to feel like it's connected to that. But, yeah, there was something wrong with his lungs, his kidneys, and his brain. Something that had been going on for a long period of time. I don't know. I'm... I'm still so confused about this. I'm just, I'm tired of losing animals. I don't want to lose any more animals. I'm just doing everything I can. Usually farmers, when they lose animals, it's because they're not on top of their deworming or maybe they missed something. And I mean, I feel like that's what's going on. Maybe I missed something because ivermectin, the anti or dewormer that you give most animals, there are certain type of bugs or um, worms that are resistant to it and but I don't know. All that was fine. All those tests came. I mean, even I, sh I showed you in previous videos, his eyes were nice and red. If it's a parasite problem, their eyes are going to be more on the white side. So what is it that took his life? Still don't know. But we do know that his lungs, 
his brain and his kidneys were chronic. I'm going to give Hamlet some of the good head. Come here, buddy. Come here. He's <laughs> so cute. Hi, Hamlet. Oh, look at him. That's a pretty horse. He's a pretty horse. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. Ooh. Hmm. Is that good? Is that good? Oh, he actually said yes. He actually said yes. Yo, that's hilarious. Did you see him say yes? I feel so bad for Dak because he's like getting denied when it comes to his babies. Like Gracie wants nothing to do with him. He gets close and she growls at him and barks at him. Not your baby. You're such a good daddy. But he's like always chasing the animals away when they get close to the puppies. I'm gonna show you the puppies. They look really cute. Look who's hungry. She's really hungry. Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, chapapocho. Oh, chapapocho, Pepper. Oh, chapapocho, Miss Piggy. Oh, chapapocho. Be nice, Domo. Be nice. You want some hay too, Torty? Yeah? Oh, he's just gonna go crawl in his hole. Got some really hungry animals here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Really? All right, so I was able to get Dixie in here. I wanna kinda show you, I've been putting a lot of medicine on her. I also put some of that DT. Uh, it seems to be working a little bit. I got permethrin that I've been spraying on her pretty much every day. Um, don't kick me, baby. I just want to see you in here. See what's going on. Uh, it looks like it's improving a little bit. Do not want to get kicked. But she's got like, oh my gosh, this is this is bad. All this hair is like falling out. I'm gonna get some gloves on. This is a. Uh, this is how Lamar was looking. Oh God. Oh, this this is terrible. I'm gonna get some more hydrocortisone on her. Might even give her another injection of antibiotic, but that's honestly, that's the worst part of it. Um, in here, she's been looking really good. Uh, you can see she's all powdery from all the domicaceous earth I've been putting on her. I just feel so bad for her. Like, I've been trying to do everything that I possibly can. Got the vet out here several times. The only thing we didn't give her was a steroid shot, like I mentioned. Uh, I just, hopefully she gets better. Um, I'm, just like really worried. Hopefully that is a sign that it's improving, that dry skin. I did ask Dr. Keen about giving her like a tea tree shampoo. At first, like he said that tea tree oil could be bad because it does irritate like dogs and stuff. But this is a tea tree shampoo formulated for horses and horses are pretty sensitive. So he said that that should be fine and it could help her skin a little bit. Hi, Lily. You know, I might, I may wait till tomorrow to give her a bath because man, today was pretty warm out, but we got some pretty cold evenings. So I'm gonna maybe like wake up early in the morning and give her a bath. But while I have her in here and clothes, I'm gonna give her an antibiotic and also get some more permethrin, permethrin sprayed on her and let her dry off a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some hydrocortisone on her skin. Oh man, I feel so bad for her. She's probably so stressed out. Oh, she's happy right now because she's eating some food. Mona, stop being jealous. You literally just ate all of the food. <laughs> so funny. All right, just gave her the antibiotic injection. She does not like it when I spray her, even though this is gonna do her a world of good. Hey baby, it's okay. Hey, it's okay, it's okay baby. I'm not trying to hurt you. Hey, it's okay. It's gonna make you feel better. It already is working. Just her legs are bad. And right in there, her blood. Hey, it's okay. Oh! Yeah, that's right there. Okay, that's so bad. Like her tail's so bad. Okay, dubbing, dubbing, dubbing. All right, this stuff is perfectly harmless too. It's meant for parasites and bugs. It's safe for dogs, safe for pretty much anything, even horses. I do spray it on the cows for flies. It helps a lot. And even the baby goat. And you could put it on nursing mothers too. Hi, baby. Are you okay? Let me get some of this right here. I know you're real itchy up there. It's okay. Hey, 
Uh -oh. Look at these guys. I think they're jealous. I got Dixie over here by herself eating some peanut hay. She loving it. She just loving it. Yes. You deserve it, baby. I'm sorry I tortured you with that spray. <laughs> Lily, I'll give you some. I feel like a bad dad. Here. There you guys go. Okay. Oh, yeah. So hungry. So hungry. So you can see how nice and clean it looks. There's no poop at all. We cleaned it all up. We picked up a majority of the poop and we're using it on the other side. We have a garden over there. <laughs> Got a ton of manure. But uh, yeah, did rake the field. Now the grass could grow. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. There goes the puppies. The little puppies. Gracie's taking a little mommy break. Every once in a while, we'll let her kind of come out and go in the yard, run around. But she's a really good mom. She's very protective. And Dak stays really close by. See right there? Well, he, she does not like... Ooh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be nice. Be nice, guys. Oh, my gosh. See, they don't let any animals near them. <laughs> okay, Dak. You can leave Pepper alone. He's not hurting her. He's hurting her yeah like a like a herd okay i guess you heard me puppy time they're so cute i can't believe we got puppies oh my goodness i'm hoping i get some more answers on lamar seems to be leaning in the direction that there was something wrong with him before but i don't know if i'm buying that because he was pretty healthy when he came here i mean is there a possibility yes i mean does the doctor know best yes but i mean I don't know. Maybe I'm just being hard on myself. So this is how we're spending the night here. Tiffany's been doing a great job while I've been editing. It's about, I don't know, two in the morning. I just checked her temperature and she's at 99.7, which is exactly where we want her to be. So thank God for that light. Now, one thing we did find out from the vet as to why Dixie kind of abandoned her and also because of her condition right now, she's a preemie. We're about 90% positive that she wasn't supposed to be born until you know maybe a couple weeks or so. So that's why she's not walking and she's having a hard time with her temperature and also why Dixie didn't want really much to do with her too. We're gonna get her healthy. We've been giving her colostrum and once we get her like 100% healthy, we're gonna put her with her mama, of course, and maybe, I'm pretty sure. Dixie is so friendly. I mean, she loves the llama, but she didn't, I don't know, it's like she didn't have that motherly instinct with it, but it's pretty normal when it comes to preemies from what we were told. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on her. If she goes, she has been eating a lot better. I'm gonna make a new bottle for her right now. All right, so you can get these guys right here, pretty much at like Tractor Supply or Rural King whatever I think that's where I got them from. Only thing is they do not fit regular water bottles. However, they do fit a like Coke bottle. So that's what we're using right now. And yeah, don't judge me. I don't have one of those like measuring things right now. House is kind of new, but I do have this thing that we use for Thanksgiving. And it says like, you know, one ounce. So I'm gonna, of course, you know, we're gonna go with four ounces. Cause that just says, so four ounces, one scoop of formula. We have to give this very important to her health. Probably gonna do it for a couple days. It's supposed to be for like the first day. We gotta confirm that. In case you don't know what colostrum is. When a female lactates, you know, she's gonna be nursing, of course. Before the milk, there's this like clear fluid and it's very important. It's very good for their immune system. There's a lot of like vitamins, probiotics things like that. Well, that's why colostrum is so important, especially in the first day or two. Being that Dixie isn't doing the greatest job with being a mom right now, she's probably not producing milk, probably not producing that colostrum, so that's why we need to buy the formula with colostrum. It says here, essential nutrition probiotics for newborn animals feed during first 24 hours of life. I'm gonna use my Macy cup here. 
that we got called cute oh my goodness and we're gonna do i know it's gonna be goofy but we're gonna do four of these that's one Hi, baby. Look at her. What are you doing? Are you hungry? I'm sorry I woke you up. She's kind of holding her head up a little bit. Hi. Look, there she goes. Look, she's holding her head up. Hi, baby. Oh, my gosh. You're adorable. I'm sorry that Mama abandoned you, but I promise you're going to have the best life ever with Dixie. Look at baby. It's a pretty girl. You, you hungry? <laughs> You hungry? Got some food for you, but I need you to lift up a little bit. Come on. Oh my gosh, her little noises. Reminds me of Macy. Come on, Lacey. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh. You want some? I don't want to force her. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, she's drinking a little bit. Well, supposedly, she needs six of these. And she's only gotten, what, like, maybe two? Two and a half, maybe, total. She did really good um, on the last feeding. Okay, there she goes. Come on, baby. Okay, we're her. back a little bit. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Because it wakes her up. Does it? Come on, wake up. Wake up. Wake up, baby. And it's really important for her to, oh, there she goes, to have her temperature up too because that's when her body will absorb the colostrum the most in its, you know, its state right now because she's right at 100 where we need her to be. Thank God to, for this lamp. All right, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. You're so pretty. Yeah, there. Oh, she's trying to stand up. She's literally trying to stand up. Come on, baby. You're a strong girl. You're going to be begging for this pretty soon. Remember how Macy used to beg for the bottle? Yeah, she did it with those little coos, too. Yeah. Mm. Come on. This is our first llama at the Safe Haven Ranch that was born here. Like, we're parents to a baby llama. <laughs> Okay, so the vet was here a little earlier and we did a plasma on her that was supposed to help her recover pretty quick, but Lacey's condition has worsened. She's gotten a lot worse. She's not holding down any milk. When she got here, she even said that it's going to be like a 50-50 chance, but I mean, I don't know. I just, she was looking like she was a lot better earlier. I don't know if plasma is supposed to make a baby llama worse. I don't know. Well, anyways, we are going to try plan B. She did say that if she wasn't doing that great, we're going to hook her up to an IV. And she's not holding down any fluids. Have you guys take, taken her temperature? Yeah, she's fine. Temperature's fine? Okay. I mean, this is going to be fun. I mean, luckily, we don't have to hook this up to a vein it's just gonna go right into her skin and give her some fluids but she just um, just doesn't look good and also we have a leak coming from her belly button or from her umbilical cord and that's not good it's actually terrible so um, i at this point don't even know if she's gonna make it but we're gonna do everything we can to save her because we don't want to lose her 
just been way too many losses here at the Safe Haven Ranch lately, just in general, uh, whatever. <sighs> this really sucks just kind of playing the waiting game and not knowing if she's going to survive through another night. This is, well, it's been like a day and a half. She is a day old now. She did last through the night last night, which is good news. She did have a bowel movement, but I just see her deteriorating and getting just more weak and weak. I do have this IV drip going. We have to do this like every three hours, about maybe, I don't know, 1130 right now. Let's see, doctor wanted her to get at least 50 mLs on the first one. I did kind of give her, I don't know, it was, I think it was 50 mLs, but we have to give her 100 mLs on this run because she's not taking any of the food, any of the colostrum. I mean, she'll drink a little bit here and there, but she doesn't have much of an appetite. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to be devastated again. I know it. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of tired of the way things are lately. Uh, this year has just been a complete nightmare to say the least. And I know there's somebody watching this video that can probably agree with me. Sorry for all this trash in the background. I don't even know what this is. Oh, I'm just in a crappy mood. I'm sorry. I just want my llama to feel better, and I want Dixie to feel better. I have been checking on her a lot. She does seem a little happy. I have her just kind of grazing most of the property on her own, and she seems to be pretty cool with that. But I don't know. I just don't. Just don't know what's gonna happen with Lacey. She just seems seemed like she was in a lot better spirits yesterday. To be honest, the day she was born, she had more energy. We're doing everything we can. Just, within twenty four hours, we should know. I'm not gonna end this video until I give you an answer. And I don't know. Could be good. It could be bad. Preparing for the worst. It's been a year like that just to kind of expect the worst. I'm sorry to say. Hate to be negative, but I'm kind of tired of being optimistic, if you will. Well, she's breathing like kind of heavy right now. I don't know what she's doing. Are you okay, Lacey? You okay, baby? It's your pretty girl. Let me see. Oh, so there's like a sack of water. Right there. It's getting absorbed pretty good. Right, I'm just gonna keep rubbing that. After I take the needle out, I'll rub it a little more. So it seems to be absorbing really well. Need to get you better. Oh boy. This isn't good. So her lungs are underdeveloped because of her premature birth. Uh, uh, we did give her some antibiotics in case she maybe has like a pneumonia or something. I'm hoping that's not what it is. Come on, please. Please hang in there, baby. Hang in there, baby. Please hang in there. I don't know. She's like breathing weird now. It's like she's struggling to catch her breath. Come on, no. Come on, no, don't go. Don't fucking go, please, God. Don't do this shit to me again. Come on. I hope she's just like, Maybe just going through something right now. I'm just like she's gonna be okay. 